There you see Chase Elliott seventh in the championship standings come into the playoffs uh, and, and kind of building some momentum, four top tens in the last five races. Do you sense things have kind of turned the right direction as you start the playoffs? Maybe. You <laughs> that. Maybe not. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. It's, I feel like you know, the past couple of weeks haven't been, uh, haven't been the best. Um, you know, some – you know, wrecking on pit road last week obviously wasn't a wasn't a good way to end it. But um, I feel like we, we've had pace at times. We just got to put that stuff together more often and and uh, eliminate some you know some of those mistakes like that and and uh, try to have some uneventful Sundays would be uh, would be nice. <laughs> those are always good in the playoffs, right? All right, let's talk about the first round. I mean, Richmond's probably not your best racetrack. Does that put more pressure on this weekend? And would you say Richmond's maybe one of your worst tracks? Yeah, Richmond's been a struggle for for whatever reason. I felt like we we ran really well that uh ran really well on xfinity uh really both you know both years we ran there i guess uh, ran there four times and had some really good runs and thought it was going to be uh you know a fairly seamless transition to the to the cup side and it, it has not it's been uh, been a really really big struggle for me so um you know i don't you know for us we just need to go to go to richmond and just be solid and right. and uh like i mentioned a minute ago just to eliminate some mistakes and and try to have uh just a nice executed race and and hopefully it'll all all work out but you know i, I don't necessarily think it puts more pressure on vegas right. by uh by any means i just think you we just need to be solid and and just clean up some areas and uh you know, we definitely don't want to overlook the first round because you could easily mess yourself up and, and not make it if you're not careful. So fine line, but, uh, yeah, just trying to start the push. It's uh, 10 weeks that they, they go by quick, so that they'll be here before you know it. Would it surprise you if I told you of the, of the playoff tracks that are in the playoffs? Of those races earlier this year, you earned the most points. Would that surprise you? Uh, no, I felt like there was, you know, I felt like we went on a stretch there at the beginning of the year. We were scoring a lot of points and we were having some really good runs. Um, so, no, I, I'm not surprised by that. And, and I felt like there was a point in time we were, you know, throughout this season, I felt like we were, uh, you know, we were really, really strong, um, stronger. I felt like it, at points than we have been at other points, but that stuff comes and goes and, yeah. and you kind of have to take it in stride. Um, the good news is I feel like we can be that and we can be that team, and, and we can earn those points on a regular basis when we're at our best. So I've said that a few times, and, and I really do believe that. we just got to put it all together. Because Jimmy is not in the playoffs this year, doesn't have to worry about his own team kind of making a playoff run, what kind of asset can he be to you and everybody else in the that's in the playoffs? Oh, I think he can be a huge asset to me, and, and I'm certainly going to utilize that. I mean, there's no better – person to lean on or ask or talk to about you know about these final 10 weeks other than him so why not you know why not talk to him about it and at least um and I think that can be a changing you know that, that can change as it goes along and I think you know his his perspective and maybe seeing how things are going um and kind of watching us uh, as a team I yeah. think it'd be good to talk to him through uh through it and and kind of see what he sees from his perspective as to what we could do better or, or uh or not, you know, so definitely a good person to lean on. You guys have shown a propensity to win in the playoffs. You won twice last year. How early do you think you have to win in this year's playoffs to advance on, Chase? I mean, I, I you want to win each week. I mean, I, um, I don't really think that changes now. I mean, I, I feel like the – the big thing is is the playoff points and the bonus points. Everybody talks about that. So, you know, knowing that no matter when you win or, you know, if you're, if you're able to grab a win, no matter when it would be through the playoffs, that's going to carry with you from there on. So I don't, you know, if you could win week one, great. Um, you're going to get five more points to, to take with you. So I, I think if you are able to win, it's good no matter where you do it. Um, and then, like I said, not overlooking these rounds. You know, I don't want to be like, hey, we need to win in round two or, or whatever because, um, like I said, I think you have to take them one at a time. And, and uh, we've seen guys, you know, miss it that you wouldn't necessarily expect miss rounds as it goes along. So we just want to try to be mistake-free, be solid, focus on this first one, and we'll worry about the rest of them after that. Well, they've made it to the round of eight in the last two years. They'd like to take it one step further this year and make it to the championship for